So what are the traits of a perfect 3D printed product? Today we're going to go through five of them in order to make sure that you're making a product that actually has a lot of long-term sustainability. First of all, with any three, good 3D printed product, it should be the size of a fist. Why the fist? That just seems to be the ideal size for manufacturability, quick turnaround, reliable prints, all those kind of things. It's not so small that it ha needs a ton of detail and specialty settings, and it's not so big that it'll take a really long time to print and therefore take a little while to ship. You can basically ship this next day. So something about the size of the fist is where you want to go. Of course, you can vary. You can go two fists. You can go three fists. You can go up and down depending on your situation. But a good rule of thumb is the size of your fist. The best use of this object is probably something functional, something that solves some problem. It can be cosmetic, but again, it needs to solve the problem of like making something ugly look really good. So like an organizer cup that would hold my pencils. But something functional might be something around tools, an accessory, a stand, a hook, uh, something inside of your car, a cup holder, a small piggy bank. Those those are the types of things that we're looking for. Something that makes someone's life easier in a very specific sort of way. So you might make a change bank for a Honda, Nissan, whatever it was, cup holder. Whatever you want to do with that. Something functional. Number three, it should sell for somewhere between $29 and $39. Why should it sell for this, you ask? Because that is the average impulse purchase of a person online. If your object is cheaper than that, then you're missing the chance from the click because the person is willing to pay up to 29 bucks for the object. And if you sell it to them for 20, they could have paid you nine more dollars for their attention on that if it was a product that was worth nine more dollars. If you're going over that, now it's not an impulse pur purchase anymore. People have to think about it. So they may not buy it right there and your marketing cost is gonna go up. So you don't really want something that expensive. You wanna be right around $29. And this is just based off data across e-commerce stores. Shopify recognizes that the average purchase price on their platform is right around $29. So try to make your product cost $29 so that you can fit right into that sweet spot. Requirement number four, it needs to be highly demonstrable. If this thing does not look good on video, if it doesn't do something nifty and interesting, then it's probably not a very good product and you're gonna have a tough time selling it. We live in a video world, a world of TikTok and three second clips. You need your object to be interesting really quickly. You cannot do a pet rock because it doesn't do anything. You need to do something that solves a problem and moves. Really good examples of these types of objects that are the size of the fist can be sold for this amount. Pill bottles, pill sorting kits, maybe a Zin can holder, all kinds of different things. So they can actually make something that will work in the world the way it is right now. And the final condition is if you are designing this from scratch, make sure that it can be produced on any machine and any material at any time. This allows you to get access to resources like teleport or other large print farms without having to worry about translation or individual print settings so that you can actually mass produce it quickly and reliably so that when you're a highly demonstrable product that is the size of your fist that is shown on TikTok via video format and is sold for $29 goes viral, you are able to get it produced produced quickly and reliably because you produced it and made sure it was reliable and could be made on any 3D printer anywhere. Now you have a product that you can literally dive into and build as heavily as you want to. You can perfect it. You can focus on it. You can get a lot of attention towards it and know that you're able to grow along with it and that you're not leaving anything on the table. So ultimately, make sure you make an object the size of your fist, make sure it solves a problem, make sure it's highly demonstrable on video, make sure it can be manufactured on any sort of 3D printer, and then make sure you're selling it for at least $29 so you're not leaving money on the table. Have a great day, everybody.